Hello, my powerful wild women. This is just a little video to explain the two videos I'm attaching here. I'm just out on my daily morning walk. One of the best things that you can do for hormone balance is a de-stressing walk. This really helps to lower your cortisol. And getting outside in the morning to get some sun in your eyes is a great way for your circadian rhythms to come into balance so that you feel tired at night, not wired, and that you have the energy to wake up in the morning. So we know that that can get imbalanced at any time during uh, our hormonal shifts and that abiding by the rhythms of nature is something so healing. And this is what you will learn in these two videos. So what I have in these two videos are, um, so the first video is, first video is a hormone self-assessment. So we go over the hormone self-assessment so you can find out right now what hormones are out of balance. And then in the second video, we go over more factors that help you to keep your hormones balanced. And we also preview the hormone balancing detox. That is so that you are fully aware and equipped with what will make a difference in your hormone balancing journey. I have mostly gotten rid of hot flashes. I don't feel them anymore. Uh, my libido did go away and it has come back. <laughs> um, my hair was feeling kind of brittle and not very lustrous. That has come back. Um, I had puffy face. That's mostly gone away. Um, very achy joints and achy body and I have been helping that more recently with some of the nutrients. So that's something that we're going to be going over if you come into this program. So we're going to be doing um, more hormone balancing education, uh, weekly classes to lower your stress, um, including Qigong and hormone appropriate exercise workouts um, and uh, yeah nutrients can make a difference diet makes a huge difference but I have recently started adding more supplements as those are needed and um, what else yeah we're going to be starting in December 1st doing another little hormone balancing detox I am moving right now so, yes, this walk is definitely needed to de-stress. But yes, so I'm giving you all this information so that you're ready to go. So you can, because when you shift the way that you eat, like, for example, if you're addicted to coffee a little bit, like I am right now, <laughs> and you like to have your coffee every morning, it can take a little um, mental preparation to switch your diet or if you're addicted to sugar or if you're addicted to bread. I'm gonna be sharing my favorite new gluten-free bread because I found that like during perimenopause, I couldn't eat gluten. It was just creating too much havoc. And so I don't have the diarrhea anymore when I stick to this diet for the most part. And um, yeah, you can do it too. I mean, I'm not perfect. I haven't completely given up coffee, but I'm attempting to have green tea um, more during the week in the mornings than coffee. And that's working out really well. So um, yeah, enjoy these videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we're gonna be starting in December. So um, it's $36 a month for to, uh, this group and also in this group 
if you want to learn more about the specific nutrients that you need, we're going to be going over those because every person is different. So um, please take me up on a free 30 minute sensual wisdom discovery session. And in that session, uh, I do a little mini medical intuitive assessment and um, we can also look at more hormone specific nutrients for you. If you've done the hormone assessment, then we can go from there or I can uh, direct you to res more resources. Okay, so I hope to see you in December. You're welcome to join us. We're gonna do this every month. So next one's starting at the beginning of December. Okay, enjoy. Have a wonderful day.